Welcome back to finals day at the Leaning China Masters. Next up is women's singles, an all Chinese affair with Han Yue, the number eight seed, up against the Olympic champion, Chen Wufei. Well, as far as the women's singles draw was concerned, uh, we had four different nationalities at quarterfinal stage, but only three seeds. Only one seed in the top half of the draw, and that was Han Yue. Uh, by semi-final stage, two seeds and two different nationalities, uh, because three players from China in the semi-final stage. So a third all-Chinese women's singles final this year with Han Yue against Chen Wufei. Well, as far as the race to the World Tour Finals is concerned, uh, we have a similar situation to the mixed doubles. The uh, third and fourth Chinese players on that list can't qualify uh, because you're only allowed two per nation. So it's the top six on that list, plus Gregoria Mariska Tunjun and Zhang Bei Wen, the two other qualifiers. There is a scenario that Akane Yamaguchi might not actually be fit. She's uh, been injured for the last two tournaments. In that case, we would go down to the next player, which is Pong Hui Chochuwon. But she's injured too. So we'll probably go down to Supernida Keiton if Akane Yamaguchi is unable to contest those World Tour finals. Let's hope Tai Su Ying is also recovered. Tai Su Ying having to retire in her match earlier this week. That was against Zhang Yiman of China. Kim Garung is the other qualifier. She's not even on that list. And she managed to qualify for the World Tour Finals because she reached the semi-final here. And she had to reach at least a semi-final to qualify for the end of year finale. So a huge congratulations to Kim Ga Ung on qualifying as one of the top eight players. So the court officials only just making their way onto courts. Chris, what's your feeling about uh, Akane Yamaguchi, do you think she would be fit to play at the World Tour Finals? We're both hoping she's fit to play. Definitely hoping she's going to play because I think the, the badminton world's missed her. Um, from, what I've, from what I understand, I don't think she is. Um, I hope that's wrong. It's a serious foot injury, isn't it? From, yeah, from what I understand, and I don't think she's going to be able to recover in time. Um, again, I do hope that is incorrect, and she is back because it's it's lovely to see her play and obviously at such a big event it would be great to have her there to be contending for the for the top spot. Yue in her first ever final at 7.50 level. She's won a title at 500 level, and that was just last month at the Arctic Open in Vanta in Finland. So if she was to win this event, it would be her biggest title to date. The Olympic champion, Chen Wufei. Asian Games silver medalist in her home city of Hangzhou earlier this year when she lost out to An Seiyang. Her seventh final of the year. But more importantly, it's her fourth final in four tournaments that she's played. This 
the sixth meeting between these two players, and if you're a Han Yue fan, that's a little ominous, isn't it? She's never beaten her opponent of today in five previous meetings. It has gone the full distance, though, on two occasions, including that last time in the quarter-final of the French Open 7.50. So, Chris, were you able to decipher who won the toss of the coin and who chose ends, who chose what? It looked like Jenny Fei won, and she pointed that she wanted the other end, which is the end she's at now. That's what it looked like. Um, possibility, because the music is rather loud, but I could be wrong. Yeah. But I do think that's what happened. Yeah, thank you. Well, Han Yue turned 24 eight days ago. So wouldn't this be a wonderful, belated birthday present should she win today's final? Born in Changzhou, in southern Fujian province. And 168 equates to 5 foot 6. At her career high at the moment, and this is her sixth consecutive week at number 8 on the world ranking. Well, as far as her matches were concerned, played against Adomendi of Spain in the first round, then the Commonwealth Games bronze medalist Yao Xiaomin. She needed three games against the Singaporean, as indeed she did against her teammate Zhang Yiman in a repeat of the Thailand Masters final, but a reverse result. In the semi final against last year's Asian champion Wang Shu Yi in two straight games. So to the Olympic champion, Chen Ufei is 25 years of age. And as I was telling you, she was born in the city of Hangzhou, which is where the Asian Games were and where we're going to have the World Tour Finals for this year and then the following three years as well. Has been world number one, was world number one for 13 weeks from the middle of December 2019, but currently three. She's also qualified. Ready to play. Ready to play. Her matches, well, you saw her only match to go to three games was the quarterfinal against the number six seed in a repeat of the Olympic semi final against Her Bing Jiao. And poor old Her Bing Jiao hurt her ankle or knee, we couldn't quite see which, but it certainly looked nasty and had to retire in the deciding game. So both our court officials are from China, Chu Xun Yuan and Xiao Ao Qi. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chen Yufei, China. And on my left, Han Yue, China. Chen Yufei to serve, love four. Play. So Chen Yufei, the Olympic champion, in the all red kits, getting this final underway against Han Yue. Nice skill from the Olympic champion, the hold and flick. Play to perfection. Brilliant shot. That's what we saw yesterday in the semi final. Overhead, she had such good variation and quality. Came out really attacking. It's 
So one of the super strengths of Jenny Fayez, their defense, and we'll see if it, if it can hold up today. that head-to-head -head of an incredibly one-sided 5-0 is definitely going to play a part mentally. Wuhan, you believe that she can get that first ever win. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Great net shot. Fantastic net there. You see there as it struck the tape, it's impossible to get back. The shuttle's turning and spinning so much. It's almost coming feathers first. Well, Chen Fei won the two Fuzhou China Opens. There's a challenge here from Han Yue. Now I saw that as in. No, we've been simply hopeless this week, Chris. I've stopped even <laughs> making, a, making a decision because my percentages are not very good. Yeah, there you go. Well, I should have kept quiet as well. Good challenge, Han Yue. Chinese players have won 11 of the previous 13 women's singles titles at the China Masters. Yeah, it's a good start by Han Yue. So if you add in the two Fuzhou China Opens as well onto that, then it's 13 of the 15. the top of the tape and it didn't go over. It's been an awful lot of tournaments that Handwear has played this year, Chris. This her 22nd individual tournament. That's amazing. Yeah, it is a lot and she's done incredibly well to manage it all and I think it's actually helped her. I wouldn't say that with every player, but I do feel she's getting better and better. Obviously winning the Arctic Open. Fantastic performance. Won the World so University so Games in Chengdu Three, as well. Five. Chengdu is where we're going to have the Thomas and Uber Cup finals next year. of the attack. string goes is so difficult in singles to stay in the rally because you're so limited to what you can actually do in doubles it's very difficult but you have the possibility to 
the possibility, sorry, to quickly change your racket and come back on and your partner cover you, but obviously in singles, pretty much impossible. Totally wrong footer there. See, Han Yu was definitely thinking the forearm because she got caught out with that one before. The straight attack. A little bit reverse on that. Which made it a little bit more deceptive. Oh, yes, that's a super return of serve. That really is. Seven, five. Very, very creative from that position. It looked like she was going to be playing that backhand cross court because that's where your arm goes, but lovely bit of deception to hold it and hold it back and, and go straight. Oh, that's a loopy drop. Just missed it, but I would say I felt it yesterday as well. And you, she's playing slightly differently, and by that I mean she's she's a bit bolder, she's a bit more aggressive, she's she's trying things she wouldn't normally try, and I, I do feel that only comes from confidence because when you're confident, you can try different things in it because you're relaxed, you're calm, and you believe it's going to happen, you believe it's going to work, it does. And I think I saw that in the semi final, she played incredible, and I'm seeing it now already in this match. Play that tight spinning net shot there. Oh, she gave it a fair bit of height too. That's the thing she could, she because her opponent was so deep. Whereas obviously it's how singles net shots are so different to doubles. Doubles you've always got someone at the net to cover, but the quality of it, almost when you give her that much time, it's guaranteed to be a net cord. to the lead. First time since she was 2-1 up in this opening game. have to say without, with Yamaguchi out injured and, and Se Young just managing to come back from her injury, you've got to say Chen Yifei is the best player in the world at the moment. She's proved that in her last four tournaments. She's identified Jill, very consistent. Yeah. Lost in the final last week to Tunjun. Well, had that have worked, now it would have been a sensational four. block. Is an amazing net plate from Chen and Fei. Absolute perfection, and it's got to be good because her opponent had a fairly high base and was at the net. She does have exquisite touch. the back line. Service over. Nine, ten.
So it is a two-point advantage for the Olympic champion here in the opening game of the Indian China Masters final. And Nuez holding her own though. 11 minutes played. So a two-point advantage for the Olympic champion. Oh, I think she's overdone that. That was ambitious from Han Yue. I suppose one of the problems, Chris, because of course, they played each other five times previous to this in international competition. But if you're practicing against somebody and they're beating you in the sparring matches within the training environment and you're losing the whole time, then you come to the match situation and it's difficult to believe how you're going to win and turn all that around. All those training matches, you know, you've got to come in with, with a surprise package. And that's exactly it. And sometimes that's where it all goes wrong because you, you try and almost be this different player to surprise your opponent, but you can't play like that. That's such an extreme version of yourself that it just doesn't work. And if you play your normal game, you know that you have to play at the highest level, as in, you know, the shot quality's got to be so good. Your speed's got to be so good. It's gone wide. Almost like that rally where she played the incredible cross court and then it just had to get better and better until she ends up making the mistake. And it can be quite often the way the more experienced player in this situation, Chen Yufei, is she, even at the start of the match, she looked so comfortable, she looked confident, she was smiling. Obviously having that five love head-to-head uh, -head is a big advantage. And as you say, it could also be the similar thing in training. Just getting that slight mental edge over your opponent can make such a difference. She was waiting for the cross court that time. Brilliantly played from Han Yue. That is such an accurate smash straight down the line. I think in that rally, you identified how early Jenny Fei took that net, but she didn't really capitalise on that. She kind of got one step ahead in the rally, but then the next shot she played was quite poor quality, which allowed her opponent right back into the rally. Well, she's right back into the match now. Back level. And you're... Reading that cross court net shot, Chen Yu Fei. Good pace to the rally.
missed it. Chris, when I was saying that this was only the third all Chinese women's singles final this year at World Tour events, were you surprised about that? I was quite surprised because when I think back to the Super Series, and of course, Super Series was going for a longer period of time, but there was not so many tournaments on the Super Series as there now is with World Tour. 44 all Chinese women's singles finals. Yeah, well put away. 18 at Grand Prix Gold tournaments. And this is only the eighth throughout the duration of the World Tour. So I think that's a good indication that women's singles is one of those open disciplines. I think definitely the Chinese players, uh, they're getting more strength in depth in the women's singles discipline. Yeah, I think it's a difficult one because on one hand, I'd say it's not surprising on one hand, just because you've got Yamaguchi, you've got Ansa Young, you've got Carolina Marin, you've got Tasu Ying, who are obviously taking Chen Yifei out of this for now, but you've got those players who are incredible. Um, but then on the other hand, as you identify, try and have such phenomenal depth that maybe not there, maybe the 300s and maybe even the 500s if some of the top players are missing. Would I be surprised that they didn't have more? Then I probably would. So, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those kind of... Actually, that's a very good point because the two previous finals this year where we've had all Chinese finals, of course, uh, you were at the Arctic Open. That yep. was a 500 event. And the Thailand Masters, that was a 300 event. So this is the first at this level yep. of tournament. And this, that doesn't really surprise me just because, for me, there's five lady singles players at the moment that I do feel are phenomenal. Um, at least, in my opinion. Well, it's just, what I mean by that is I think they're just a, a little bit ahead. And maybe I'm being tough by not having Herbing Zhao in that as well. Um, but when I think of the others, I just think that's an oh, incredible that's a net shot. Fantastic net shot. I just think the others have got it in them to win a tournament and it wouldn't be a big surprise whereas I think if Herbing Zhao did it would just be a little bit of a surprise. That's a lovely shot. Finds the line. Goodness me, that took courage. Well, that's what separates champions from contenders. The ability to play a winning shot on big points. with the net shot. I think she knew as soon as she had left the racket. Because she just stood where she was, watching it. Do you think Han Yu is playing above her level? And all I mean by that is I think she's playing at her very best. She's playing so well. I think I'm just not 100% sure is, is if she can maintain it for the whole duration of the match. And this first game is going to prove so important for her to try and snatch it. Short. Yeah. Got what it deserved, and it was a crucial moment. And where goes into the lead. Four of the last five points to Han Yue. The 
missed it. So is Solberg. 80 all. Oh, that's a beauty. Good disguise and almost perfect placement. Wonderful shot. Good say. And you, she's definitely controlling the rallies. She's dictating, but I do think Chenny Faye's allowing her to. Chenny Faye's playing just a little bit safe for me, a little bit passive. Faye's obviously got a very good defence, but she's just being a bit too safe, a bit too simplistic, and the shot quality is not quite good enough at the moment. So two game point opportunities for Han Yue, the number eight seed, to take the opening game against the Olympic champion. Opening game. Well, she's challenging. I don't think she'll win that challenge. I saw that as clearly long, mind you. Haven't got any right so far today. Very few right or weak. Yeah, very long. I've got one right. So. The opening game to Han Yue, 21-18. Opening game, 24 minutes. And the Olympic champion is going to have to come from behind if she's to win this China Masters title. Han Yue, one game to the good against the Olympic champion Chen Fei. Just wide. For the last time they played in the quarterfinal of the French Super 750 event, Han Yue won the opening game and didn't manage to close out the match. In fact, lost 21 7 in the deciding game. One, yeah, the first game was exactly the same, 21-18, in the French Open when they played each other. So if there's any Chen Yifei fans out there, don't panic just yet.
good rally. That's a wonderful net exchange. When the net is that tight, as in the net shot, sorry, from Chen Yifei, it's not really much, much you can do to it. Wide and long. Landed in. That's a beautiful block. Five, one. Certainly beginning to find a range now. Chen Fei. Battle at the front of the court, Chen and Fei. Very composed start to the second game. No panic, no worry. Which would be very easy for her to have done. Losing the first as she did. Kind of got snatched away from her at the end, but started the second game very confident. She's made more mistakes in the second game than she made in total in the whole of the first. Thing. And I, I, I did say a concern in the first was I do think she played phenomenally. I would say at the very, very, very best that she can play at in the first game. And can she sustain it? And so far in the second, I would say she's clearly not. Lovely disguise on the neck shot from Han Yuet. That one, that's a beauty. Set up the whole rally. Force the short lift and then for the easy opportunity to play the winner. the line again. Service that is over. amazing. Another one push long. Obviously hitting with the drift. And, and she's really struggling to control her shots to the back of the court. Interesting that Chen Fei chose ends, having won the toss of the coin. Yeah. 11-2 at the mid-game interval. 
And what a bounce back by the Olympic champion, Chin Ung Fei. 32 minutes into the match. And there, having won the opening game. But this is a brilliant comeback from Chen and Fei. Well, I have a feeling that Han Yue has asked for the medical team, whether it's uh, just a bit of tape she needs, but this is concerning. Deputy tournament referee, Girish Natu of India, comes onto court to find out what the problem is. push long. Well, there was no two. visible signs to me, Chris, that she had hurt herself. Maybe just the tightness and tension from all the tournaments that she's played so far this year. That's gone long as well. Yeah, I didn't notice anything Four, either. Three, I mean, it looks like two. she's moving okay and she moved all right in the first, but yeah, it could be a bit of muscle fatigue. I mean, hopefully it's nothing too serious. It's a wild one too. 40, this can be the thing two. when you're losing a bit of confidence in your movement because something's painful or sore, you're forcing it and you're going for the perfect shot. And we've seen probably eight simplistic unforced errors, which you didn't see any of in the first. Oh, another unforced error. 15, two. So it could be argued that she was off balance and that had been forced. 15 2, my goodness me. Service so far. 3 15. going to test the Six, left calf somewhat three. and That's a wonderful net shot again. Seeing it from that angle, you can see how close to the net that shuttle fell from Chen Fei. Time it lands on the line. Service over. Four sixteen. Well, it looks almost certainly as if we will have a third and deciding game. That's a lovely shot. Service over. Seventeen. Would say now. Four. Definitely, her speed and intensity is gone. She's not controlling the rallies anymore at all. Is she conserving a bit of energy for the third or 
Or is it that the calf is getting worse and worse? Yeah, only she can answer that. Two points away from the second game. And leveling this final at one game apiece. Yep, that's the sideways drift coming into play. 20 game and point four. A whole host of game point opportunities for Chen and Fei. Game. One game all. 21 second four game, the five, second game. Five, 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 and very tame 20, resistance. One, four, yep, one they're talking all. to each other. friends are off the courts and probably concern from Chen Fei to her teammate. Now, Chen Yue looked to me as if she was... Yeah, she's pulling out here, definitely. Yeah. Well, no longer is it the case that if you retire against a player from your same country, you lose your ranking points. Yep, she's had enough. Can't cope with the... So, match to Chen Fei. And it really was tame resistance in the second game from Han Yue. She really was obviously struggling. Uh, disappointing for the fans, nonetheless, not to have a three-game final. Well, 39 minutes, because it took a minute after the conclusion of that second game for the withdrawal to be made. So Chen Fei wins a fourth title of the year to go with the Indonesian Open, the Denmark Open, the French Open. In her seventh final of the year. Confirmation of the scoreline, 18-21, 21-4 before Han Yue sadly had to retire injured. If you count the Fuzhou China Open as the same as this event, then Chen Fei has won three consecutive Fuzhou China Open stroke China Masters.
看看下一组。哦，哎呀，这怎么有点不一样啊？感觉是怎么？不光亲吻了一下，好像还有一些升级版的感觉啊。这两位今天来到现场，好像很激动啊，是不是还有所保留？来，这两位幸福的笑容，看一看我们今天能不能会有更多的收获呢？曾经的我是一名职业运动员，我的运动生涯并不算辉煌，但也谈得上精彩。退役后，我来到了深圳这座开放且极具机遇的城市，成为了一名高校教师。来到深圳后。我遇到了非常多的良师益友，同时也遇到了在生命中的另一半。两年的异国他乡，你常说“所爱隔山河，山河皆客客”。如今我们都扎根平城，我觉得是时候迈向风向未来，下一步。是时候更进一步吧。请允许我大胆的问一句：敏玲，你愿意嫁给我吗？来，全场都在等待你的回答，所有人。此刻，我们所有人在深圳，在二零二三李宁中国羽毛球大师赛的现场，见证了体育的感动，体育的坚守，也见证了爱情当中带给人的不平凡，带给人一切又一切的波澜壮阔。我们在赛场见证爱情，在爱情当中见证体育热烈的精神。朋友们，再次把幸福的掌声给到他们。Welcome， 希望你们的爱在深圳这座活力之城和体育永远热情相随。女士们、先生们，二零二三李宁中国羽毛球大师赛、汇丰世界羽联世界巡回赛、超级七五零赛女子单打颁奖仪式现在开始。Ladies and gentlemen, the Li Ning China Master 2023 HSBC BWF World Tour Super 750 Women Singles Award Ceremony is about to start. 有请获奖运动员入场。Let's welcome the awarded players. So to the prize presentation for the women's singles finalists. Very disappointing way for the final to end. How do we have to do it? Women's singles is from China. Han Yue. The runner-up of women's singles is Han Yue. Well, the first final at 7:50 level ends in disappointment. 获得女子单打冠军的是来自中国的陈雨菲。陈雨菲 ，a fourth title of the year。有请深圳市市长韩伟忠为获奖运动员颁发奖杯。Let's welcome Mr. Qin Beizhong, Mayor of Shenzhen, to present the trophy. 
感谢颁奖嘉宾。Thanks, Mr. Chi Lei Zhong. Let's welcome Mr. Xia Xuanze, Vice President of Chinese Badminton Association, to present the flowers. Thank you, Mr. Xia Xuanze. Thanks, Mr. Xia Xuanze. 有请李宁中国体育用品有限公司执行董事兼联席 CEO 钱伟为获奖运动员颁发支票。Let's welcome Mr. Qian Wei, Executive Director and Joint Chief Executive Officer of Leading China Sports Goods Company Limited to present the prize check. Thirty-nine thousand one hundred for the runner-up and eighty thousand five hundred US dollars for Chen Fei as winner of the women's singles. So a big smile from Chen Fei. Thanks to all presenters. Second final of the year. Prototype for the final. And now the time for the champion. Please enjoy the moment. 深圳风雨同舟，我们与羽球共荣耀。接下来有请获奖运动员一部台册。So she will have a couple of weeks off from tournament play before the World Tour finals, and we look forward to our next final of the day here at the Leaning China Masters. And it's women's doubles, and it's the three-time World Championship silver medalist Fukushima and Hirota up against Matsuyama and Shida last year's All England Champions. So welcome back.